designer on Battlefield 3 Close Quarters. Um, so Nicholas, what can you tell us about this upcoming DLC? Um, the upcoming DLC is, like I said, Battlefield 3 Close Quarters. It's the first, sorry, it's the second expansion pack for BF3 and it's focused on the indoor battlefield, you know, the close quarters type indoor fighting. Um, so apparently now close quarters brings new levels of HD destruction, if I'm right now. Was this difficult to do? Was it, um, was it a, a monumental task trying to scale up the engine to bring this extra bit? Yeah, it's been... What we really wanted to do with the HD destruction was just to emphasize, you know, the real, uh, you know, the walls crumbling around you, kind of feeling that you get when you're having a firefight indoors. Uh, so we really, you know, pushed the engine to its limits trying to get this high fidelity destruction going. And I think when the fans are going to see it, they're going to like what they see. Um, so, as you said, uh, close, uh, sorry, Battlefield uh, Close Quarters is one of three new DLCs uh, expansions to come to the Battlefield Gamers with another debuting in the fall and the third this winter, if I'm correct? Yes. Uh, what can you tell us about these ones? Well, the first one is, as you said, Close Quarters yeah. coming in June. And then the second one um, is Armored Kill. It's coming in the fall and it's focused on the real big epic vehicle you know, focused maps. Uh, and then in the winter we have Endgame, uh, which we're not, you know, talking about the details right now. But, uh, it's going to be cool. As well. well, from the cover what we saw, there was a guy looking very Rambo-ish, so yes. hopefully <laughs> there will be something there. Okay, in three simple words, why should people spend their hard-earned cash on this lovely new expansion? Uh, in three words, I would say HD destruction, uh, action, and uh, uh, squad play. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so we've been asking everyone this question now here at the showcase today. Um, what was your first game and console that you ever played? Oh, my first game and console. I think my first console was the Game & Watch. You know, the handheld, uh, you know, LCD. Uh, kind of, it was a watch, but it was also a game. I think it was... Um, I think it was called Fire something. It was a little cowboy trying to use his hammer to put out fire and knock Indians on the head. I think that was my first. I think console. that just sparked your interest in games at an early age. It might very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was so addicted to that game. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Nicholas. And uh, we hope to see you soon on the next two expansions as well. Maybe. Thank we'll you. See. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good gentleman.